Welcome to Topics and Issues. I'm your host, Monica Renee, and this is the start of a new year. And one of the most popular resolutions, besides losing weight, is managing your money, your finances better. So today, that's what the topic is going to be. That's what we're going to discuss today. And today I'm joined by Katrina Jones. Hi, Katrina. Hi. Well, Katrina, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, <clears throat> Monica, I am a prosperity life coach. And um, as, a, as a life coach, what I do is I work with adults um, in the areas of self-care, career business development, and wealth building. Okay. Okay, Katrina. So, um, as you know, the topic is today is about saving money in this new year. Mm -hmm. So, can you give us some tips on managing and saving money this year? Well, <clears throat> what I'd like to say about um, regarding tips on managing money is that <clears throat> when you begin to save money, that is a byproduct of some other things that are, that are going on in your life. And one of the first things that we have to do is have an understanding of where our values are as it relates to our spending. Um, you know, what things do we value? Um, and so one of the tips that I would offer <clears throat> would be to, um, to buy a journal and um, you can get a journal anywhere, the dollar store, and to start tracking your spending. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I've learned is that it's hard to spend, it's hard to save money um, if you don't know where your money is going. Okay. And a lot of people have what I call spending leaks, uh, money that leaves them and they don't know where it goes. Mm -hmm. And so when you can begin to track, that, track your spending, write down everything that you spend, then it begins to give you um, a picture of where your money is going. So one of the first um, tips that I would offer would be to start tracking your spending. Okay. Um, some people would ask, well, what if somebody gives me money? Should I write that down? Or, you know, what if I write a check for something? Should I write that down? And, you know, what I say is it doesn't matter how the money comes in at, in the beginning. What's important is where the money goes. Mm -hmm. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, whether you write a check, whether you're spending cash, um, if you give them, you know, a dollar or fifty cent to your to your young child, it, it doesn't matter. Whenever you make a purchase or whenever money leaves you, um, write it down in your book um, how much you spent or how much left you and what it was, okay. so that um, you'll have an idea of where your money is going. Um, another tip that I would offer is to begin to um, explore, um, educate yourself around. Um, vocabulary, money vocabulary, mm -hmm. um, such as what is a need versus what is a want. Um, yeah, I have that problem. <laughs> Um, and what I what I like to believe is, and what I tell people is that a need is something that is absolutely necessary in order for me to live. Without it, I would die. Mm -hmm. And so, some of the basic needs that we have are food, shelter, and, and clothing. Um, you know, without food, my body will break down, and, and eventually, you know, I'll die. Um, without uh, shelter in the elements, whether it's you know cold or whether it's um, heat extreme heat, you know, without proper shelter, my body will deteriorate and, and, you know, eventually I'll die. And without certain types of clothing um, to protect us from the elements, you know, we will die. So um, I need food. I don't need a steak. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know, um, I, I need a house. I don't necessarily need to live in Pepper Pike. You know, um, I need clothing. I don't necessarily need a fur coat. So being able to distinguish the difference between what are my needs and what are my wants, I think is very important because if we don't know what our needs are, then advertisers will tell us, mm -hmm. you know, and, right. and advertisers, it's their job to take money out of our pockets and, and put it in their pockets. So um, that would be a, a second tip that I would offer is okay. to, you know, begin to educate um, yourself around uh, terminology as it relates to to money okay and a lot of people that I've talked to want to know how can you manage money without having much to work with mm -hmm. that's a very good question uh, Monica and <clears throat> what I like to say to people is that 
when you're dealing with um, managing money, it, money is a byproduct. You know, being able to manage money is just a byproduct of how we live. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's so important for us to be able to, again, figure out where our values are. You know, what type of things are important to us? Um, you know, is having, um, is renting important to me? Is being a homeowner important to me? Um, <clears throat> you know, knowing where our values are is, is so important. Um, if I don't know what my values are, then anybody's values will do. Um, if I don't know what my triggers are, and a, and a trigger are, is an impulse that causes me to spend money that I hadn't planned on spending. And so, um, you know, for example, spending money in a vending machine can be a trigger. And I may, you know, at my job, there may be a vending machine and I may say, oh, well, I just spend a dollar a day on a, on a soda, on a pop. But, you know, five days a week, that's five dollars. Right. You know, so, you know, for, for a month, that's at least, you know, twenty dollars that I'm spending on pop when possibly I could go to Mark's and buy a case of pop if that's what I know I like and, you know, put that additional money in a different area. Um, so, I, you know, it's important um, for me to, to kind of do a self-evaluation of myself. Um, and have an understanding of where, what my beliefs are and what's important to me. Um, and it's also important to have goals mm -hmm. um, and to write your goals down okay. on paper. And I think that when, when, uh, when we can begin to do those things and along with tracking, um, <clears throat> We may not have a lot of money, but a lot of times, even if we're not working, we have money that's coming in to us. So, you know, maybe our maid is giving us money or mm -hmm. somehow money is coming in. And a lot of times we have more disposable cash than, right. we, than we know, than we think about. Um, but when we can handle, when we can begin to have an understanding of where the little bit of money is going that we have, then as more money comes in, we become better managers okay. of that money. Okay, and um, I have a question as well for bank accounts. Do you recommend that everyone has a bank account because some people have them and still don't have anything in them? Because I know with me, I swipe a lot. I swipe a lot. I don't carry cash, and um, that's a problem. I can, I can never save anything because I'm always using my card. Mm -hmm. So do you recommend somebody, you know, have a bank account? Everybody should have one? or? Um, I think that's a very good question, um, you know, if everybody should have a bank account. And again, I believe that um, it's a matter of educating, you know, oneself mm -hmm. and, and, and um, you know, a bank account is, is a, a place, well, a savings account mm -hmm. is a place to put money so that it can accumulate. And a checking account is a place to, um, you know, pay uh, bills uh, on an ongoing basis. Right. And so if I don't have a cash flow coming in, um, then it's going to be hard for me to, you know, to spend money and, you know, replace that money that I'm, that I'm spending. Um, it's a matter of education. Um, I think that every, you know, I think that as savings accounts and bank, uh, checking accounts have their place. Okay. Um, but I think educating ourselves on money, and there are so many different programs in the community that offer education um, around money management right. and budgeting. Um, and, and I think that uh, we have to be good stewards of our finances, but before we can be good stewards, we have to, again, know where our values are right. as it relates to our spending. So until a person can be clear on their value system, where their values are, and what their goals are. Um, you know, sometimes a, 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 a bank account can be um, a tool that um, is not always advantageous, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Okay, Katrina, so tell people how they can contact you. All right. Well, um, I have a website, which is um, www.prosperitylifecoach.com. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I can be reached at uh, 216 Three seven three seven zero five nine. Okay, well, thanks, Katrina. Thanks again for joining me. And if you guys have any topics or issues that you want to discuss, just email me at topics and issues.
with Monica Renee at gmail.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.